Hey everyone, and welcome to class. I'm Mikel O'Hara, and today we are entering the exciting realm of prompting, the art of communicating with Plot Drive's AI to generate the content you need. You've got your API keys set up, your AI models chosen, and your documents organized. Now, it's time to learn how to give the AI instructions and watch the magic happen. of prompting as writing a set of instructions for your AI co-writer. Plot Drive uses two main types of prompts, generate actions and selection actions. Generate actions creates new content based on your instructions and the current context. Selections actions, on the other hand, modify and refine text that you've already highlighted. Let's start with generate actions. Here I am in a document. You will see that when I press enter, I get two buttons, plot drive and these binoculars. If you click the plot drive button, it will try to continue the story based on what is inside of your document. But I haven't written anything yet. The binoculars are a preview button. If you click that, it will show you exactly what is being sent to the AI. You can see here that it is going to read anything that I have in active documents, and then it's going to read the information on the document. And based on that, it will try to continue the story. Right now it says, please continue the story matching style tone and point of view as appropriate. If there is no context, just start writing fiction. So if I were to press the plot drive button now, it will just start writing fiction. I'm gonna type, I want a story about a dog. Now, if I enter and click the binoculars again, you will see that it has added that particular thing into the prompt. Now it's ready to write a story about a dog. But if I wanted to do something different, what if I wanted to make my own button? That brings us to keywords, special terms, plot drive understands. Let me show you. I'm gonna click on prompts on the left-hand side here. Now, if you look at the generate action section, you will see the plot drive button. To the right of that, you will see a plus button. We're gonna come back to that in a minute. First, I wanna explain a little bit about how this works. Here is the prompt that is inside of the plot drive button. It uses the keywords, active documents, and words before. These words are placeholders. They get replaced with actual content when you use the button. Active Documents pulls in the text from literally any document that you have toggled on inside of the Documents panel. Words Before grabs all of the text in your current document before the cursor. There are other keywords like Words After, which takes place any text after the cursor, selected words for highlighted text, and instruction box, which you'll see inside of the selections action section. If you ever forget them, don't worry. All you have to do is actually just press on the actual button and it will add to your prompt. Knowing this, let's make a new button. I'm going to go back to my document here and I'm going to delete this text. Now I'm going to click the plus button Let's call this button my story starter. I'm going to make it blue. Now here we are. We're going to write the prompt. I am going to make it very simple. It will say, write me a story about a cat and I'll save it. When I go back to my document and I press enter, I will have a new button. If I click on binoculars, you'll see that it is only sending my prompt. Let's click it. And there you go. Who <laughs> have wrote a story about a cat. You can make your prompts as simple or as complex as you want. It's just like Othello. It takes a moment to learn and a lifetime to master. And that is the basics of prompting. You've learned about generate and selection prompts, keywords, and created your own first custom button. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into creating custom generated action buttons, unlocking even more creative possibilities. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, and get ready to take your writing to the next level with Plot Drive. Happy writing everyone, and I will see you all 
in class.